What's good, YouTube? This video is going to be about dating older men. As you probably guessed, before I start, I'd like to tell you, please go follow my new podcast, Cafe Talks Everything, on there. We talk about hot topics. We do reactions. Uh, we talk about life. I give uh, life advice. Um, it's a lot on there. It's for everybody, men and women. Please go check it out. Also, if you haven't registered yet, I'm having a paid virtual live stream on August 28th. Please go check it out. There are a whole bunch of perks and a whole bunch of things attached to the tickets if you decide to register. Now onto this topic. Women often ask me about what I think about them dating older men. In speaking to so many women, you know, thousands a year, I can tell you that I haven't noticed the pattern in the reviews from dating older men that is favorable to that idea. There are a lot of assumptions that women are making about older men that aren't necessarily true and that lead to as much hurt, pain, and trauma, and sometimes abuse, as dating younger men. I don't think that the age should be the focus of who you date but the character and the integrity, the person, how they treat you, that should always be the focus. To strategize based on one metric or another or one demographical figure or another is counterintuitive um, and it doesn't normally work. Oftentimes women assume that an older man would be more reliable. This isn't always true at all. Put simply, young fools grow up to be old fools. Everybody doesn't get wiser with time. Gray hairs doesn't make a person more trustworthy, more capable, and give them more integrity than black hairs or brown hairs or blonde hairs. The young aren't always less equipped than the old, unfortunately. We all like to think that there's a, a bit of growth that's, ha that's happened over the years and that a guy in his 40s or 50s or 60s somehow or another knows what he wants more often. And that he's more reliable because of it. But a lot of times, these guys are coming from bad relationships, 20-year marriages, 15-year marriages or relationships where they've either had a great time cheating on their wives or they've had a terrible time getting cheated on or they've had an abusive time or a toxic relationship, right? You, you are only as good as the bulk of your experiences. We are the sum total of our experiences. If an older man has been married but the relationship was trash, he didn't suddenly learn how to be a great uh, partner, he's going to bring his trash to the next relationship until he gets rehabilitated. Whether or not you should be the person who rehabilitates someone 20 years older than you is beyond me. Gray hair on a guy's balls does not mean he's going to treat you any better. In fact, oftentimes older guys are more certain than younger guys that a woman has no place in their heart. Having been married or dating for decades, they've concluded that a woman's place is in their bedroom. They've concluded that the closest a woman should get to them is arm's length. And so while you're trying to develop love and build and uh, evolve into this greater, bigger picture, this guy is just trying to avoid it all because he's been there and done that. And for him, it wasn't a good experience. And so now he's avoiding responsibility and connection at all costs. Or he offers that to you because he's learned how to finesse women in all his years dating, but he still doesn't want to give you anything. So his actions never match his words. Those who've been married and had bad divorces, especially uh, you know, custody battles and cheating wives or have been cheating husbands, they come into these relationships with younger women who think and assume wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and they give them the same shit that a young man with more energy would have given them. Nothing. They're screwing like dogs trying to catch up for all the years they spent in a relationship or relationship hell, as they like to call it many times. They're trying to catch up with their 20-year-old self. They got 10 or 15 years of banging random women to do before they decide to settle down again. In fact, they're so happy to have their own space. They really don't want a woman putting candles and shit around their house and flowers and feminizing their apartments. Again, character is something that doesn't necessarily grow with age. It can, but it's not a given. Just yesterday, my coworker's family member had some sweet old ladies come to their garage sale and still a bunch of shit. One distracted and the other one stuffed her giant ass old lady purse. <laughs> I say all that to say gray hair and wrinkles don't always signify integrity or trustworthiness or responsibility. Some people are single because they deserve to be single because they fuck up relationships. To assume integrity where you've seen none is a dangerous assumption to make. And some of these older guys aren't as tired as you assume of the games. Many are committed to the games. I don't say this to shit on older guys. I don't say this to 
stop people from even considering older guys. But I'm just telling you that I have not noticed a pattern of older men being that much more reliable sometimes. Even if it's not about games or, or sowing their wild oats, uh, they come with their own baggage, right? Uh, years of alcoholism, uh, years of this type of trauma or, or, or this type of issue that they've been having, right? People uh, find themselves to be single in old age for one reason or another. Um, it's not always bad or malicious or toxic or whatever negative thing that you might describe it as. But it's, it's a fact that they have some lessons that they hadn't learned before they entered their last relationship. And that's why they're still single. We all have adjustments to make. We all have to learn lessons. That doesn't make us bad. It doesn't make us a bad investment. But us not learning from those uh, scenarios and those situations does. A lot of times single women who are mature in age made bad decisions in their youth. Right. The hope is that they've evolved from those decisions. But the fear of many men is that older women who are single have a lot more baggage because they have a multitude of experiences that can't be taken back. And it's also believed that most people aren't really doing the work psychologically to fix themselves or to heal themselves. In the same way, older men have that same amount of baggage sometimes. People who have experienced more sometimes are carrying more. And if they haven't properly managed their mental health, they could actually be a more toxic, more dangerous resource for love. So it shouldn't be assumed that just because a guy is older, he must have it all together. His finances might be intact. Being single and being older, he's a, he kind of has the best of both worlds. But outside of that, um, you can't assume anything just because somebody is up in age or older than you. So assume nothing. Judge a man based on how he treats you, not what age he is, not what race he is, not how he looks, or whatever else you might judge a man on. Age is nothing but a number, and that statement is absolutely positively true. That's not to say you should keep going up and up and up. But it is to say that you shouldn't give special consideration uh, without the evidence of the benefit that you seek. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Please go follow my podcast. Please go register for the live event. The support I get on this live event may dictate how I do things moving forward. So hopefully people show up, they come out, they support, uh, and they let me know that I do have an audience uh, for what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'll figure out another way uh, to prosper my family. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for now. Follow me at Kevic24 on Instagram. I'll get with y'all later.